Work on Troy's new Publix continues to make progress. And visiting high school students give a performance. Stay tuned. Troy Trojan Vision News starts now. From the High Definition Production Center of Troy University's broadcast and digital network at Troy, Alabama's international university, this is Troy Trojan Vision News. Hello and welcome to Troy Trojan Vision News for June 16th, 2016. I'm Samantha Charles. And I'm Nathaniel Rodriguez. Thank you for joining us this evening. Last night we heard of a new plan for the future of the square in downtown Troy. And tonight we take a look at another project in the works. Ryan Renfro has the details. If you're traveling along Highway 231 in Troy, stop and look closely. Hiding behind Popeyes at the intersection of South George Wallace Drive and Highway 231 are the beginnings of a new project coming to Troy, a supermarket you've probably heard of before. Publix is definitely, have, definitely has a place in our market. You heard correctly, a new Publix will open up shop in Trojan territory. Mayor Jason Reeves explains the reasoning behind the new addition. We were losing people out of the community uh, that were shopping in Publix uh, at other locations. So I think we, we keep those people here. They have a lot of uh, things that, that maybe other places don't offer. Publix isn't the only project taking shape. New roads are also under construction, offering connecting passages between 231 and Publix. However, Publix's popularity has left some residents anxious to see how traffic will be affected. Just a couple weeks ago, we had two wrecks that was already out here dealing with the traffic, people coming in and coming out, so it's going to have a big impact on traffic dealing with the Popeyes and the customers. Despite concerns, Reeves says the new road system will have a positive effect on traffic. We did a very comprehensive traffic study before we built the roads, and actually the, the new road system will actually alleviate uh, each intersection along uh, 231. The outside opening for this new Trojan landmark is set for February 16th of 2017. And as Mayor Jason Reeves puts it, Publix will be one of the first of many dominoes to fall in a large amount of growth. In Troy, Ryan Renfro, Troy, Trojan Vision News. Reeves says the Publix and road construction project is set to be finished by Halloween of this year. All this week, high school musicians from across the country were on Troy's campus learning from the Sound of the South. This afternoon, the students showed off what they learned in a performance in Sartain Hall. Antonio Reese has the story. Troy University's very own Sound of the South hosted their annual summer music leadership camp for its 45th year. Current members and past alumni came together to instruct students on various techniques and routines to take back to their respective schools and also be used in their end of camp concert. The performance consisted of just about every imaginable section of band, from percussions to color guard, all made up of students from all over the state. During the performance, each section presented what routine they had practiced throughout the course of the week to their peers and audience, as well as their instructors showcasing how their practice all came together. Once the performance came to a close, Assistant Drum Major Justin McCall stated what exactly the camp's purpose was overall. Basically today was about a performance for the kids. Uh, they came out here, they worked all week, and we just want to give them things that they can take back to their bands and uh, that they can implement with the other students that maybe not don't come here, you know, and uh, you know, we just want to give them a performance for their family that are up in the stands and their students that are around. So it's just, we just want to give them a chance to come out and do what they love to do. McCall reports that the camp hosted a helping of students this year since he has been part of the event. This was a really big turnout for us. We had a, almost 600 kids at this camp and I've been here for three years and it, it keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. So it was really great to see all these kids out here. McCall even went on to say what impact he believes the camp can potentially have on students. This camp's an opportunity for the kids to come out and see what we do here at Troy. And uh, so they get a chance to live the, the life of a Troy student really for about a week. So it's really good for us to, you know, have that opportunity to give to these kids and uh, maybe they make that decision to come out to Troy. So that's big for our program as well. For all the campers that were in attendance, we could definitely say this was the perfect way to wrap up the camp. This has been Antonio Reese, Troy, Trojan Vision News. This was the 45th year the Summer Music Leadership Camp has been held at Troy University. And now taking a look at news from around the state, authorities are investigating after a body was discovered buried in a field in Etowah County. Etowah County Sheriff's spokeswoman Natalie Barton says the body was found around 5.30 p.m. Wednesday along Black Bottom Road. Barton says authorities believe the body may be related to a missing person and two persons of interest are speaking with investigators. Authorities say a 60-year-old Blunt County woman accused in the shooting death of her husband has been arrested. 
Bobby Holloway was arrested Wednesday night and was charged with murder in the death of 57 year old Jerry Holloway. Blount County Sheriff's Operations Officer Tim Kent says the shooting occurred around 845 PM at the couple's home in Bluntsville. A bench alley of suspended Alabama Chief Justice Roy Moore has filed a federal lawsuit challenging what he calls the state's unconstitutional restrictions on judges' speech. Associate Justice Tom Parker filed the lawsuit Wednesday against the state's Judicial Inquiry Commission. The lawsuit challenges speech restrictions in the canons of judicial ethics.